as we continue our two a day in the month of May, looking at questions. And one of the questions today is, why is Cam Newton not on anybody's team? What do we know? Well, there hasn't been a lot of serious interest in Cam Newton to this point. And the main reason, Greeny, is those health issues that you talk about. Teams that I've spoken to, whether they're in the market or whether they're just looking from the outside, have said, you know, no one's going to sign this guy sight unseen. This is a quarterback that has had shoulder surgeries. He missed the last however many games of last year with a foot injury, so you don't know if he can run. And we are in a situation due to the pandemic where you can't fly guys around and do in-person physicals. Teams are going to want their own doctors to examine Cam Newton's shoulder and especially that foot, because if he can't run, it's Cam Newton. You don't know what kind of player you're signing because we really have never seen a Cam Newton who can't run. And then you got to work on what effect that has on his value to your team, what kind of contract that means. So I think there's a long way to go before Cam Newton is actually with a team. So, RC, you've been around the block more than a few times. What do you expect to happen with Cam here? And what, what, what seems like a good place for him? I'm not, I wanted to make sure I wasn't the only one not hearing him. Let's, let's go back to you on this one, if I can, Dan Graziano. What sorts of places do you think may wind up? We'll work on RC's um, audio. We'll get that back for you in a minute, I promise. But in the meantime, Dan Graziano, what feel like possible places he could wind up if and when doctors are able to get a look at him? So they fall into two categories. I think it's a, number one is a place that's looking for a starter that feels it's worth a shot on Cam Newton's incredible ability and upside. Right now, there aren't many places looking for starters. But if you get a couple months down the road and a team like New England or a team like Jacksonville decides its plan for starting quarterback this year isn't as good as they think it is right now, maybe he becomes a factor there. Failing that, if he's going to be a backup, I think it has to be behind a very secure starter starting quarterback, much the way Jameis Winston is behind Drew Brees in New Orleans, because teams are not going to want to bring in Cam Newton as a potential threat to a young quarterback they're trying to develop. Yes, because a healthy Cam Newton at this stage is w w certainly one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. I'm told we do have R.C. back. R.C., what feels like a smart place for Cam to figure out yeah. to go next? Well, my mic got me, and so now Dan has taken all of my great thoughts, <laughs> even though I'm sure he didn't even see my notes. But I agree with Dan. It's going to have to be a team that looks at their starting quarterback position and says, we need to get a better guy. So Jacksonville, New England, once they're able to look at Jared Stidham, once Jay Gruden and Jacksonville can really see Garner Minshew up close. And from there, I don't necessarily know how you bring in Cam Newton as a backup or even if that's something he would be willing to do. I think what's really strange here or something to look at is the difference between Tua Tungvaloa and now Cam Newton. You hear you can't sign Cam Newton because you can't see him run or you can't check out that foot or that shoulder when with Tua Tagovailoa, those teams, Miami, who drafted him, had to go off of what they could show him. And so to me, Cam Newton's in a waiting process. He's going to have to let teams get back into football before he finds a spot. But super quickly, should he play RC? Like Stephen A suggested, if all he's getting is backup offers, he should sit out another season. Do you agree with that? You know what? I don't agree with that. I agree that Cam Newton should make the best decision for his career, and it may be to get in the building, be on a team, and show them that he should be the starter going forward in the future. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.